Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you've been following along, we have been working in White Box Learning's Gliders 2.0 to build our very first glider. Now that I got mine built, it's time to test it. So my friends, let's get cracking. All right, so if you're in my room, make sure that you've added all the glue that you need so that it's actually sturdy. Move back towards this wall and give it a gentle toss forward. If you remember back to the first time we did the simulator software, we had that same thing where it went straight up and then it did not have the correct lift to glide out and actually do a flight. My friends, that's what we just had here, so let me show you how to fix it. Near the sink in my room, we have got a scale. Uh, when you come over here, power up the scale. Please remember, do not ever push down on the scale. That does not work for them. Ends up breaking them, we don't want that. When you set your plane on the scale, it tells you how many grams it weighed. Mine weighs six grams. That's actually pretty close to what it weighed in the software. You may find that your amount of glue you used and maybe how you sanded and filed, yours comes out heavier than it was. To change the flight characteristics, I'm gonna shut off the scale and I'm gonna move over to the clay. This will be sitting right beside it. Just grab a small pinch of clay and you can add it to your nose just like you did in the software. If you remember back, we put different amounts of grams on there. Real quickly, let's see how much I just added. Once again, I power it up and let it get to zero. <laughs> and it says four. I'm gonna reset it and let's see if that comes in different the next time. Still says four. Now it says six. It was actually resting on that black cable. I'm gonna add a little more clay just because I wanna add at least a whole gram. If you remember back in the software app, uh, I think I had about 1.8 grams of clay or weight on the front of mine. And you can distribute that however you want. The more you fiddle with your plane, the more you're going to learn about the characteristics that help your plane fly the best. I'm going to try it with this configuration. Let's see what we get. Once again, you move back to this end of the room. Make sure there's nobody in front of you. Make sure there's nobody that could step on your plane. We want to be careful of everybody's gliders. And give it that gentle push forward. My friends, you can see that that was way better just because we finally had the wings at the right neutral point and the right amount of lift to actually get a launch. When yours will do something like that, you need to come show me that you've got that much success. I'll allow you to use the sweet launchers. Using the launchers looks like this. You've got a rubber band, and once again, you made those little hooks on the front so that you can use the launcher. Simply connect your balsa glider to the rubber band. Once again, back all the way up so that you're far away. I'm gonna make sure the rubber band is coming down the middle and then you can launch your glider for your first test. Now, as you can see, my weight is not good. And also I think, let's look closely, my clay did fall off. So that might've been a good launch if I hadn't lost the clay. Make sure you track down your clay because that is bad when we step on it, it'll mess up the carpet and we don't ever want stuff messing. Alrighty friends, so I found my clay and I'm back in business and I can continue testing. Uh, make sure you're super careful, you don't wreck anybody else's planes and try and keep your plane alive because once we have them all flying well, we'll take them somewhere awesome to see if we can get longer flights, launch them out into a bigger area. Friends, if you found the video useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.